Hi, welcome to the chapter 3, the smart console. Okay, already I am in the, I'm, I want to log into the management firewall. This is my admin username. And you see, this is the management firewall. So, this is required for the smart console. Download now, you can mm, download over this, but already I have. So, you can just click uh, like this if you do any kind of uh, smart console servers. Okay, like uh, you can use for this uh, uh, download and you can just double click over the smart console server and you can see the smart console application. So this is smart console application already installed in my system. So you can you know, install anything. Just open the smart console. You can see smart console R81. Okay, this is 220 and give it to the password. You can log in. So now it is initializing service or data loading all that we earlier data if I have saved anything in the smart console then you can see over this. Launch the application right now. Okay. See only management firewall I have seen over this. I just add the gateway. So click on the stars and gateway and click on the classic mode. And um, click on the classic mode. So it's take just a few seconds. And um, and one more thing, if you install the smart console, any kind of firewall admin machine, so this is minimum requirement is like uh, 6 GB RAM for this, uh, 6 GB RAM is required. So if you install the smart console, okay, so it is required minimum 6 GB RAM is required for it, okay. And almost uh, 200 GB hard drives is required, okay. Let's remember one thing, okay. So this is the part, okay. So first is I put the name next to the IP address and you can do the communication. This is using for the seek part, okay. It's the seek part. I already give you to all the details and you can see that if you enter the firewall, you can multiple options like firewall, firewall, VPN, mobile access, application control and all the all the part I have given, uh, this is the said that in URL filtering, identity address, this is called to be UTM, if you I already, we have read about this UTM, the Unified Trade Management, the, all the uh, possibilities security can be uh, checked and that mean it can be enabled over this firewall. So my lab, it is using for only for firewall, as of nothing we have to show over this, okay. So you can this another option, threat prevention, you can do it over this management if you, uh, if there is no management system, so you are not anything do any the management, so I just give it the name and then just do it and go to IP address and click on OK. This is my part. Okay, let's check this out. So give it the name, one name I will do put over this, this is just firewall gateway, uh, firewall gateway 1, FWO, GWO. Go to the IP address 1.268.56.221 and give it the communication for the SIG. Okay, and reset and yes, and okay. This is SIG is basically already told you uh, initial chapter, the uh, earlier chapter. Okay, you can see uh, there is uh, secure internal communication port to 182.09. So Okay, well, this field connect to the security gateway. This is very important matter. That means this security, that means management server is not able to do any kind of uh, communication or trust established between the management server to gateway. So now I want to re verify it, uh, reconfigure about the part. Okay, so basically I want to go, <laughs> I just access to the system. Okay, and going to CP that one okay and click on this admin okay and this command cp config and do the five click on five yes yes activation key again i'll do it because i have failed it because i what what has happened because why it's very sick uh, earlier i have just installed on gateway then again i've deleted so one time you can install at a time that means after sick configured you can just give one time if you deleted any uh, firewall from the smart console again re-establish this so that's why we have again re-established this 
okay i have done it so basically this is the i am telling you what is the command and all those things uh, see this is just a minute uh, yeah so see this is a uh, secure internal communication that what i am talking about okay and command is cp config cp config this is a command okay if anything face the issue so it is the command and you can create a number five i have to put and after this five and all this thing is done and put the nine then you can be exit okay now uh, if uh, seek is um, basically seek is done uh, during installation okay during installation so installation my handwriting is very bad sorry for that okay no anyway the uh, during installation so again if you uh, management servers is there okay you can access the smart console is c this is your firewall admin machines okay so you just register the gateway this seek okay and after some time you have seen this is wrong or anything it is deleted you are deleted again you are trying to same seek and again this same gateway if you put these things so unfortunately you can't do it anything okay so we need to just one time you can do over this and if we one time you can do it even again you deleted again cp config command click on number five nine exit and that's all okay let's proceed about it so now i have done and again so nine see all the mobile access stops and all those things is uh, starting about it and mass is not installed this is something daemon is working daemon is started mm -hmm. it's taking just one or two minutes that is nothing else okay great it is done so just i'm doing a close and again reset yes and this part again i put the same password click initialize yes oh, oh that mean you can see that part this is trust is establishment so that when you can see the trust okay this trust is establishment so test six status you can see that status you can see as here over this this is the finalized i have same sick password i have put it over this and trust is established that's a good sign anyway so let's move to this part and click on okay and you can see the interface level details so that mean uh, see this is the interface level you can see th0 this is ip address tablet mask no ipv6 so if you have another interface so you can see th1 blah blah ip address okay non subnet net mask okay so that part you can see over this no ipv6 so that's all that will be your interface level what is the configuration you can fetch over this okay basically let's click click on close click on ok and see this generating signature key has been opened and you can see over this so now it is showing the firewall gateway one this is the ip address this is the version this activation blade which blade is activation this is firewall this significant is a firewall and this significant is a two significant one for the this significant call to be smart console and this significant is uh, configured the management firewall and this significant is called to be firewall gateway and one more thing this firewall gateway actual control the traffic this firewall gateway control the traffic remember okay so this called firewall gateway it's significant this is a smart console this is a management firewall okay so anyway uh, 
so this is smart console and how to integrate the um, firewall gateway that's all my friends um, see you in the next video thank you so much bye